Howdy Cowdies. Here's a quick little weekly walkabout to show you some of the cool stuff I've got to sell this week. Been bloody busy again, heaps of stuff coming in and going out and all the rest of it. We like this little Derbyshire little dish there with a little skink lizard on it. Lovely little bit. Some nice bits of World War II trench art. A little um, serviette ring and a letter opener made out of bits of um, aluminium off a Japanese Zero. Got some paperwork to go with it. Nice little Aboriginal shells over the back there and some lovely gold necklaces, gold rings. Really nice little hand-painted miniature there. It looks to be um, Gibraltar with the fort in the front. Uh, 19th century. Little collection of um, Qantas and other sort of pilots. Buttons and pins and badges. There's a little nine-carat bar brooch in there. Nice little ivory earrings and brooches and things. Pretty cool little starters pistol and a packet of unopened Ardmona cricket cards. It's a copy of a Tag Heuer watch over the back there, but it's a bloody good copy. Heaps of silver jewellery this week. A lot of it's marked Tiffany & Co, but it's not really Tiffany & Co. But, you know, no one will really know. These are nice. These are little um, enamelled car badges. Stutz Bearcat and Essex Motors. Big Cadillac one there as well. It's lovely beads and silver and pens and things as well this week. Cool little Onkyo uh, quadraphonic stereo system with the four original speakers there. Nice and clean. This is pretty cool. Little Apple Macintosh 2 computer there. It's got all the keyboard and mouse and everything with it. I like this Savona roller chair. Really nice thing, actually, with the line head handles. All folds up with the backrest comes off. It's in great condition. Nice pair of sort of Art Nouveau arts and crafts chairs there. We've got lots of boxes and stereo equipment and silver and tools and stuff this week. A couple of old barrels. They're pretty cool. Uh, I think they're 20-gallon ones. It's a big 30-gallon one over the back. And these are pretty cool. Little wine bottles with their old cane covers on them. And they've got their contents in there. It's probably about 30 years old. You have to buy it to find out if the wine's any good in there or not. But if it is, <laughs> decent sized bottles, you're going to have a good weekend. <laughs> Heaps more box lots and ephemera and all sorts of stuff this week, guys. Nice big boxes of CDs. A couple of boxes of old Playboy magazines. This is pretty cool, the old Braid gas burner, all the different little kinds of gas burners. And look over here, there's a big old gas burner with those little nozzles on it. Hey, that's them there, the 650 series. Huh. Funny how things, the same sort of things turn up in the same week from different places. Anyway, we've got lots of other cool stuff this week, lovely old trunks, these are nice, these terracotta roof finials. We like this big trunk here as well. A little group of furniture. Got some nice little pictures and retro sort of typewriters and stuff at the moment. This is a nice little Italian watercolour there by Gianni. Lovely old photograph actually. Mark Talmer and Co. Melbourne. This is nice as well. Little Mary Cecil Alden little watercolour or ink and wash there. A little sort of interior scene. Reminds me of a cubby house or something like that. Cool little bit. Nice the big CPIC mask. These are cute as well, the little sort of chairs, nice little bits. Old radiator there off an old English classic car. Boxes of die casts and some cool old sort of magazines and ephemera and old marbles. Nice little mining sign over the back there and the Dalmatian phone. Little box Metoy Rolls Royce, there's a little ripper. The old Holden HR manual's pretty cool. Australiana stuff, heaps of money. This is nice, the RAAF book, the 7th Operational Training Unit up at, up at Tokemall. There you go, cool bit. Nice little tin toy aeroplane there as well. Some more nice globes. These are pretty cool, these little contemporary Australian pottery little figures. It's not quite sure on the mark underneath. Looks like D-A-L, something like that. Really nice little things though, they're very well made. Kind of weird, wacky little sort of animals and creatures and stuff. And what else have we got? Old juices and a big box of old magic lantern slides, all sort of English scenes. Some more interesting ephemera. These are nice, the tins, they're all hand painted. All the little Dutch people are hand painted on them. Cute little squirrel salt and pepper shakers. Nice bit of glass, some lovely old scales. Some cool old telephones and sort of CB radio intercom sort of things. Nice little Phoenix biscuit tin there made in Melbourne. What else have we got, guys? Some Beswick, cool big pin-up magazine or book over the back there, the history of the pin-up. Nice bits of crystal and glass. Pretty cool, the old petrol bowser signs down there and the petrol bowser nozzle. 
Well, 1960s Herald football sort of books, pretty cool magazine. And there's another one up there from 1963 behind the two little Hawaiian lava dudes. And else have we got? Nice old putter, old golf club putter there with all the details on the head. Some great old comics, frantic with fear, weird stories. Pretty cool little piano accordion. Lovely flute as well, actually. I think Aaron was playing it during the week. He, he, he does all right. Yeah, it sounded really good, actually. Uh, they're nice, the old Victorian kids' books. They've got beautiful big chromolithograph plates, big colour ones. And he's pretty wacky, the little sort of Dickensian chap there. He's got glass eyes in him that sort of move around a little bit. He's a bit wacky. The contemporary design woodwork book over the back there is lovely. And the Aboriginal paintings there by Rex Batterby, all in the Hermansburg School. Lovely little bit of Arabia here. Really nice little bit, all hand painted and everything. Nice bit of orifice as well. And the little box Jabberwock. He's fantastic. Albert Tucker, little uh, catalogues, a nice bit as well. A couple of nice bits of remude. Lovely little Dalton Lambeth littered jar. And some interesting bits at the top as well. My Life on the Australian Turf. Uh, Convict Once and Other Poems, an interesting little book, early Australian convict poetry and stuff. Nice Clarice Cliff plate over the back there, lovely big perfection um, EPT set. He's nice little Rosedale Moss platypus. Got some nice little bits of remude with the gum nut and the gum leaves. Lovely big Cloisonne vase or Cloisonne as I like to pronounce it. <laughs> nice little bit of trench art over the back there as well, a little jar. I really like this little thing actually, it's a little uh, sugar dispenser. Lift the top up there, give them a bit of a squeeze, and out pops the sugar from the bottom. Really nice to see on the original little mottled Bakelite base to match it. Lovely little bit. Yeah, heaps of other stuff I could sort of wander around and show you some more, but you know, that'll do. Anyway, hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, bad bloody luck.